Imagine you have cards, each with a title, description, and button, but the content isn't aligned across them. This is where Subgrid becomes the easiest and simplest way to fix it. So let's break down this powerful CSS property, but before we jump into Subgrid, I want to introduce you to the new version 3 of Gamma.app. Gamma is an AI tool that turns your ideas into beautiful AI-generated websites. It comes with a wide range of stunning themes, lets you edit content inline in a very easy way, and gives you full control to customize the style of any element on the page. You can also ask the AI to generate new layouts for any section, and when you're ready, you can publish your site with just one click. With version 3, Gamma provides an API that you can use directly in your apps or backend logic. Gamma also offers powerful features for creating presentations, documents, and social media assets. This is what the future of visual communication looks like. Try it yourself at Gamma.app. Now, let's continue with Subgrid and go step by step. First, let's start by creating the cards with HTML. I will set a parent div and give it the cards container class. Then, inside it, I will add three div elements. For each one, I will give it the class card. Inside each card, we will have a title, a description, and a button. Let's give each card a different background color, set border radius and padding, and also adjust the font size for the title and the description to make them clearer. Now, to make the cards appear in the same row, we add grid to the element with the class of cards container and apply grid template columns. As we know, auto fit automatically creates as many columns as can fit in the container without overflowing, and MinMax specifies that the minimum column width should be 140 pixels, and the maximum width will be one fraction. This creates a responsive layout. The columns adjust to the screen size, but never shrink below 140 pixels wide. Also, let's give it a gap of 10 pixels to create space between the cards. But now we have an issue. The content is not aligned across the three cards. The description is not starting on the same line in all cards, and also the buttons are at different levels. Here is where subgrid shines. It's a property that helps us make all the elements align perfectly across the cards. Subgrid allows a nested grid to inherit the row or column tracks of its parent grid, enabling consistent alignment between parent and child elements. So now, to add a subgrid, we first apply the grid property to the boxes. Then, we use grid template rows and set its value to subgrid. In the developer tools, we can now see that the cards have a small label that says subgrid. But after we added subgrid, we can see it broke the layout. That's because subgrid doesn't create rows or columns implicitly. In our code, we never defined a grid template rows property on our container, so we didn't tell our boxes how many rows they should be holding. In this case, we want each card to have three rows, one for the title, one for the description, and the last one for the buttons. And now, in the parent container, we add the grid template rows property and set it to auto, repeated for each part. And lastly, for the boxes, we add grid row span 3. Now everything is perfectly aligned. We can also control the height of each row. For example, if we want to make the description part 200 pixels in height, we can go to the parent container and replace its value in the grid template rows property with 200 pixels. Subgrid is a powerful CSS grid feature that lets child elements align with their parents' grid tracks. To fully understand its potential, experiment with different layouts and nesting to see how it handles alignment. And finally, don't forget to subscribe for more CSS tutorials.